Hi guys. I'm making, uh, doing my meal preps today. It's Sunday, which means uh, Sunday meal prep. So what I've got in the crock pot here, I have about a half a pound of spicy sausage and a pound of hamburger and a whole bag of my frozen onions. Um, we're cleaning out the freezer. We have probably 50 chickens we're going to be processing. So we needed to uh, make some space in the freezer. I'm going to can a lot of the chicken, but I need the space. So I'm making this in my crock pot instead of the oven, low and slow. And I got the meat all done. <clears throat> I'm going to be adding in olives. Some people don't add in black olives. I do. I just crush them up in my hand. My hands are clean. Just crush them up in my hand. I had them left over from another uh, meal prep that I made this morning. I made um, uh, noodles with, um, oh, red bell pepper, and it's just a cold salad, and I put olives in it, and I put cherry tomatoes. Um, if you don't like olives, don't put them in. So I did that, and now I'm going to be adding, I have some of these little grape tomatoes, and I need to use them up. So I'm going to be putting them in. Okay. So I'm cutting up these little grape tomatoes. Got to use them. Don't want to throw them away. Doesn't matter what tomato you use. You can use Romas. You can use beef steak. Whatever you want to use. You want to put tomato paste in. Do whatever you want. There is no... When you see a recipe, there is no perfect way to copy it. I mean, you want to do it your way. Add whatever you want. So I'm cutting up these, putting them in. Just cutting them in half. Okay, whoops, one dropped. Okay, stir this around. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I'm going to be adding these. Oops, sorry. These are my bell peppers, red peppers, green pep, green bell pepper, red uh, bell pepper, and my some white onion. And all I did was can it. I just cut it up, and I added water to it, and I canned it. Sorry. Okay. So get that all stirred. I'm going to drop these in, the bell peppers. And these are already soft when you can them. <clears throat> and then I'm going to be adding a couple tablespoons of chili powder. Now if you have a recipe that you like, blow mine off. Stick to, you know, stick to yours. But this is just how I do it. Okay, so I don't have any loose um, corn. I'm all out of my canned corn. But what I do have is my blanched and frozen ears of corn. So I took out a couple bags, about six, well, six, five or six small ears. And they're still frozen together. But I'll show you what they look like. This is what they look like. They're all stuck together. I just got them out of the freezer. They've been blanched. So I'm going to let them defrost a little bit. And then I'm going to cut the corn off of them. And I'm going to put it in here. Use what you have. Don't run to the store to buy a can of corn. Use what you have. If you don't have corn, um, I was going to use carrots if I didn't have corn. So anyway, um, there's that. A little bit more. Okay, so I'll let this go for a little bit longer. Okay, so the um, tamale pie <coughs> is just about ready. <coughs> I cut 
the corn off of the frozen um, ears. So I whipped up a double batch of the Jiffy cornbread mix. You can make your own, do whatever you want. <clears throat> and you're just going to put it on the top. Gently move it over. Okay. Put the lid on. And you wait. Okay, the pie's all done. Look how nice and thick the top turned out. That went so good. So good. A little bit of juice left in the bottom. Nice crust. Enjoy.